gosh, I'm so ashamed of myself. This hair stinks so. Gee, like I have a lot of breakage. This hair needs thorough washing. Fine girl, I got me not me I tell she bounce on the thing so whiny for me thing so put the thing up on me thing and whiny for me thing so I say she whiny for me yeah you cute or whatever <laughs> so today's video is gonna be my quick wash day routine I'm gonna show you guys how I take care of my natural hair of course I'm not natural but I'm talking of my real hair because as you all can see I have on a wig right here and i'm so so thankful for wigs you guys because you know they help us a lot with kind of keeping our natural hair intact you know i just like to cornrow my natural hair and then go ahead and wear my wigs i normally wear my my cornrows for maybe a month two months but this is probably the longest i've had my natural hair three months you guys like Forget all this beauty you guys are seeing here with this wig because what is underneath this wig is a disaster. So put um, water inside my spray bottle and then just spray it on the front part of the wig. So um, I used got to be glued free spray to hold down the wig. So I'm just going to spray water right in front of it so it can just help melt the spray down. I normally get people ask how to take down wigs when you use a glue. It's very, very simple. You just use a, what, a spray bottle. As you all can see, just spray it in front of the wig and gradually just pull it out. Once you spray the water, you will notice that the wig just lights up. All right, so are you guys ready to see what I'm talking about? Because it's a disaster out here. And also, because I use glue a lot, like most of the time, I'm always spraying and got to be glued free spray. So. It got my hair looking all messed up. But this is my three months con row. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. I'm just going to quickly go ahead and take it down and let's go into the wash day routine. One of the reasons I also love to put my hair in a con roll is because I have a very delicate scalp. Any little thing, I just start having headaches. So I always just prefer to pack up my hair and just leave it alone, you know. And it's always easier for me to kind of take down a con roll and comb because if not, it's gonna be a problem coming in after I'm all done. She bounced on the thing so, whiny for me thing so, put the thing upon me thing, whiny for me thing so. I say she whiny for me, yeah. Man, I give it to her one time, say she whiny one time, whiny for me, yeah. Man, I step in the yard, made it girls them say, I, 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 you know when you have a hair on your head that you wish is not yours? This is what is going on right now. This is disgusting. Ooh, this is a job on its own, you guys. I'm definitely not going to let my cornrows last this long no more because this is crazy. I'm so disgusted. You guys, you don't even understand. My hair is like, gosh. All here is filled with glue. I have glue all here and here. This is what happens when you're all alone in the house. Gotta blast some Niger music and dance in the shower. So as you all can see, this hair needs a lot of work. And the first thing I do is spray some water to loosen and detangle. And this helps kind of hydrate the hair and prevent further breakage. I love to spray enough water and then massage my hair from the root to the tip. And brushing my hair each time I removed a cornrow helped a lot because if I didn't do that, my hair would have been all tangled and matted that I can't even finger comb it. It's crazy. I love, 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 love this clarifying shampoo from Alberto Vio 5. It has a lot of hair vitamins and oil and helps remove dulling residue from the hair. I always use two shampoos whenever I'm doing a deep wash. I use a clarifying shampoo first and then a conditioning shampoo. I prefer to saturate my hair first with a clarifying shampoo because like the name, they help to detox and deep clean the hair. And it's designed to remove stubborn buildup from the hair like wax, grease, mousse, hairspray. It just removes everything. And also it doesn't lather like normal um, shampoo so you can use as much as you want and just make sure you saturate it all over the hair. And also I love to use my fingers and then, you know, as, as you guys can see, I'm just kind of scrubbing it. 
So I'm just going to completely rinse that off with a lukewarm water and it's not advised to wash your hair with a hot water because it strips your hair and weakens the roots. And you guys, this right here is my holy grail shampoo, specifically for those of us with dry scalp. It's enriched with apple cider vinegar and pure natural botanicals that gently clears up dandruff, dry scalp and leaves the hair naturally smooth and shiny. And with this particular shampoo, you guys, I'm very, very frugal because majority of the time I've wanted to repurchase it, it's always sold out. So like I use it little by little. I don't even joke with this shampoo at all. And to make sure I scrub my scalp really good, I love to use this scalp machine. It comes in very handy because sometimes my nails prevent me from really scrubbing my scalp hard enough. I actually really do enjoy washing my hair you guys it's like giving water to a thirsty person like for months I haven't washed my hair so once water hits my scalp I don't even want to go out like sometimes hubby will be screaming honey come out of the bathroom you're wasting water that is how much I love just washing my hair and just like letting water hit my scalp it feels so good This conditioner is just amazing like I love wow hair products a lot guys and this is not sponsored like I genuinely love their um, shampoo and conditioner and I'm gonna saturate this conditioner all over my hair starting from the root to the tip and this contains organic virgin coconut oil which is good for hydrating the hair and it also contains avocado oil and wheat protein they all help replenish all the lost nutrients from shampooing the hair and once that is done i will cover my hair with a shower cap and leave it on for five to ten minutes and the heat generated from covering the hair helps make sure the conditioner absorbs well into the scalp of course I used the opportunity to take my bait and after 10 minutes I will wash off the conditioner with a cold water and using a cold water to do your final rinse it's very important since the water helps close up your cuticles and improve blood circulation to the scalp which helps in hair growth. I actually used to wipe my hair with my towel but a friend of mine told me about this hair turban from Aquis Lux and she said it's amazing and specifically for drying the hair so I had to get me one and I've heard that drying your hair with a regular towel isn't the best and this one has a lockdown button which I absolutely love. Alright you guys, so I'm going to head down to my hair appointment. It's been over 6 months since I relaxed my hair and to be honest, I can't deal with pressing my hair all by myself. But before I leave, I love to apply Sheer Moisture Argan Oil and Almond Milk Smooth and Thin Blowout Cream. It's kind of a heat protectant but has a lot of benefits at the same time. Normally, I can't go to a salon without first of all applying a heat protectant spray because some salon like their hair equipment can be extremely hot and hair damaging at times. But ever since I discovered this particular hairstylist, you guys, like she does an amazing job in dealing with my type of hair. She uses a very low heat but still achieves a very nice pressed texture which normally lasts me for like two to three weeks and because i have a very tender skull blow drying or straightening my own hair is always well so i rather just have her do it and she does an amazing job and you guys once we are all done with that that is basically it you guys i just wanted to you know show you guys how i take down my corn rolls like that corn roll it was all messed up it was all crazy but at least thank god as you all can see my hair is all back to normal at least i can rock my natural hair for maybe two three weeks before i go back to maybe braiding i'm thinking of probably braiding my hair or getting a corn roll and going back to my wig yeah you guys i hope you all enjoyed this video and please don't forget to give me a huge thumbs up and till my next video i will see you all very very soon bye Make the 